Now, on to this month's field test. When it comes to potential sticking points for EV in Australia, this one ranks right up there, range anxiety. So the question we're asking in this field test is, can my electric vehicle do the long distances I need it to in Australia? In order to pick up our much desired new family member, Dynamo the dog, I put just that question to the test, just before things went south in Victoria. Here's my story. So recently my wife bought a beautiful new puppy, a Bordoodle, cross between a Border Collie and a Poodle. Oh, so cute. The only problem was, it was in Wodonga, Victoria, and we live in Adelaide, South Australia. Lulu, who's behind the camera and I, are going to get a puppy from Wodonga, that's a thousand kilometers away. So the car's got 86% charge, let's go. That's a 2000 kilometer road trip. It can get pretty rural out there. There's not a lot of charging options and we had to plan our trip. If we look on Google Maps, we wanna to go to Wodonga by the shortest route possible. It's just under a thousand kilometers. We couldn't go that route because we had to go via fast chargers. Um, fast charger is a charger that charges with DC electricity, typically at tens of kilowatts, even up to say 150 kilowatts, and it whacks the electricity into your car really, really quickly, so you're not hanging around too much on a long trip waiting for it to charge up. So the route we had to take was, uh, first stop was at Keith, South Australia, just near the South Australian Victoria border. Stop there to charge, that was the plan at the Tesla supercharger there. Then over the border into Victoria, stopped at Horsham to charge, then along to Bendigo, and then finally we were gonna go to Wodonga. So there we've added an hour onto our trip by having to go a slightly longer way. Pulled into Horsham, then went to find the charger. Then there was a bit of a spanner in the works. We got a call from the lady that had the puppy and she said she couldn't meet us in Wodonga anymore for various reasons. She wanted to meet us in a place on the Victoria, New South Wales border called Cobram, which is much smaller than Wodonga. Now, the only problem with Cobram is it hasn't got a Tesla supercharger there. But I thought, you know, no problem, change of plans, but we'll charge overnight. And we pulled into Cobram, we had charge in the car, but unfortunately, the motel we were staying at, yeah, it was a bit dodgy. <laughs> And then I had a look at the state of the sockets on this motel. And I was not prepared to plug my charger in there and pull two kilowatts for 10 hours from the, I was fairly confident the wiring had overheat and I'd burn the motel down. So we didn't charge that night in Cobram. We got up early, we drove to the RACV Cobram Resort. We knocked on the reception door and said, you know, pretty please can we use your charger? They said, yeah, no worries, plug it in. But we did sit there for about two hours topping up just so we'd have enough to get back to Bendigo. It is a problem, the lack of charging infrastructure. It's generally really good on the routes between cities, not even main cities. Tesla do a really, really good job. But if you wanna go somewhere a bit out of the way like Cobram and the place you're staying because cannot charge a car overnight, you might get a bit stuck and you might have to uh, spend a bit of time sitting around waiting for charge. And that's how it went. We picked up the puppy in Cobram, Dynamo. Beautiful puppy. And then we headed back to Adelaide. Okay. Okay, all good? Yeah. On the way back, the hairiest bit was actually driving between Horsham in Victoria and Keith in South Australia. It was pretty windy and although the car told us we had well over 100 k's to play with, by the time we rolled into Keith, the clock on the Tesla was telling us we only had 32 kilometers of charge left. Charged up at Keith, had another coffee at the wonderful coffee shop there and headed home to Adelaide in our EV with Dynamo the dog and Lulu in the back. So we did a 2000 kilometer road trip in Australia. We weren't exactly um, in the middle of civilization and we managed fine. I was getting a bit nervous at times because I'm, you're just not that used to running your fuel tank so low in a, in a petrol car. A little bit of <gasps> as, we, uh, as the battery went down and we we're in the middle of nowhere, but we got there. There's a supercharger about every 200 K, so you won't really want to make it to the next supercharger. What will solve that problem? Simple. At the moment, we're right at the beginning of the electric car transition in Australia. And very, very soon, there's gonna be a DC fast charger at least every 50 kilometers. You get an electric car, go on a long trip, you're not gonna run out of charge if you've got half a brain. It's really pleasant. You stop every 300 kilometers for half an hour. You should be doing that anyway. Overall, it's not a problem and it's only gonna get easier.